Hi moms and dads, are your kids constantly arguing over who's going to play which game? Or would you perhaps just like to save a little bit of money? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain how to set up the Xbox Game Share. Okay, so I wanted to thank you for being here and my mission with these videos is to help out moms and dads just like you make the best decisions when it comes to gaming for their kids. And now before we get into exactly what is GameShare, if you already know what it is, then just make sure you check out this timestamp right here and you can just skip forward to how to set that up if you're already familiar with the idea of GameShare in the first place. However, if you're not sure what GameShare is, Xbox gives you the ability to share your digital games with another member of your family or even a friend by doing certain steps on your Xbox. And so now a quick benefit of Xbox Game Share is that it does save you a little bit of money. So instead of having to go buy two physical copies of the game, you simply will need to buy one copy digitally, and then with Xbox Game Share, you'll be able to share that game with the other Xbox. Now, another thing you can keep in mind is you don't have to technically do game share in order to have the digital game on both consoles. You can actually do this by just logging in your account onto the other console and downloading the game. Uh, but the downside to that is you both won't be able to play the game at the same time. You can only play that game while the account that bought the game is logged into that console. So this is where the game share and setting this, these steps up next will really help you out so both of them can play at the same time. And without any further delay, it's time to show you guys how to set up the Xbox Game Share right now. Once you're on the second Xbox, you'll need to click the home button, go to your accounts, and then add in a new account. Or if you already have the accounts, you can select that one. But if you don't, you'll want to add new. Um, I already have one on here, so I'm just going to use this account. So for example, if this was my second Xbox, I would sign into the one that made the purchase, which in my case would be the me to ugt account. And then you will want to hit your home button again, go over to settings, open the settings in the general tab, you'll go over to personalization. And then from personalization, you'll scroll down to the home, my home Xbox. You'll want to click that. And then you'll want to click it again to make this my home Xbox. In my case, I don't want to do that right now. Uh, but if you had the two Xboxes, you would want to do this on your second Xbox. Once you've set that button, you can simply go back to your main account that you had by going over to add or switch, sign back into your main account on your Xbox 2. And then you can go to your games or apps and then in your games or apps, you should see up here somewhere or with the new system, it should show maybe in your full library, but it'll show you the games that need to be installed. You can open up those games and then simply click each one to reinstall those games onto the second Xbox. Once they're installed, then you can just pick which game you want to play and you're all good to go. And folks, I wanted to give you one extra bonus tip when it comes to using the Xbox Game Share, and that is when you set up the Game Share on that second account, you are also going to be sharing that Xbox Live Gold that comes with that main account. Now, hopefully this will alleviate some of the headache and arguments that are going on. And if you happen to be looking for more information between the differences of physical and digital copies, then make sure you check out this video right here, and then I will see you in the next one.